Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to be talking about the quick sampler and why it's becoming one of my favorite instruments in Logic. I've been using a lot of alchemy lately, but uh, messing around with some sampling has really got me to love this plugin. I can't sing. Uh, that may be obvious, but uh, one of the ways I like to use the quick sampler is to mess around with my voice and get some like choir or chorus effects going on so uh, often what I'll do is I'll record like vowel sounds and various pitches and uh, then I'll edit those and bring them into the sampler so I'm going to show you kind of a little bit of what that looks like oh oh ah eh oh uh, so Pretty bad, you know, out of key. All I'm gonna do is bounce that in place. Just to get into stereo, because by default it'll record mono unless you're using a stereo microphone. Uh, hit E, bring up the track menu, turn on flex, and then switch that over to pitch flex. Usually I'll take the opportunity to do a few things here, like for example, um, change the gain on some of them to kind of normalize the sounds by hand. Get the volumes to be a little bit similar so that when I'm playing them in the sampler, uh, some sounds aren't like too quiet, some sounds aren't too loud. Um, you could just uh, slap a limiter on this and then do that kind of workaround, but I prefer to just do it by hand because I don't get any artifacts from like compression or any distortions. So that's about how I want to get that. I'm going to bounce it again. Control B. Mute that. And go back into the flex version. The reason why I'm bouncing these as separate audio files within the track is because um, this can be destructive editing. And let's say I want the original audio file. Well, I still have it here in mono, and I don't have to worry about uh, doing some changes that become irreversible if I ever close out like the project. And so I'm going to go ahead and change that pitch correction, turn it up to max. I'm going to get a few artifacts from that. But I don't care too, too much. I'm just going to move these around until I get, get what I'm looking for. Oh, oh, ah, eh, oh, ah. Alright, that's not too bad. Um, Real quick, I'm just going to remove some of the background noise and EQ that a little bit. You can use just really any EQ. Oh, oh, ah, eh, oh, ah. Um, let's remove a tiny bit of the high end. And then let's, let's go over here and remove some of that background noise. Oh, oh, ah, eh, oh, ah. Perfect. Export that again. And that's about what I want to use. So let's take this instrument track, open up Quick Sampler. And because I went ahead and edited the pitches and put them in, a key that I'm comfortable working with. Um, I can go ahead and use the original like tuning, loudness, looping, and length. Because, like I said, I fixed the loudness, trying to make everything uh, within a similar uh, gain from each other. So, drag that in and then hit slice. This is kind of where the magic begins with this synth. Um, some, like, unobvious stuff is let's. Let's say you're not comfortable with the keys it's on. 
you can change the start key and you can change it to white or black only keys. So let's see. Another use for this is I like to pitch up like my voice samples, like up an octave or down an octave. And the defaults that they have built into Logic do an okay job, but I find the sampler does a much, much better job with repitching. I'm going to change this to just uh, white key in the meantime. And uh, you can add just a reverb there and it kind of snowballs from there and just makes it more like glossy um that well which is the, the effect i usually go for um that's you know a pretty good effect uh, that i like to work with and then like of course down an octave mm -hmm. opinion the pitch algorithms inside of the quick sample are just a lot better than uh than the other tools in logic but you can use this to jump start like a lot of ideas uh, for example you can take like an out of tune guitar just don't even worry about like repitching it or anything and just mess with pitching it up and down um, you can even take uh take this into the one shot mode and just isolate single samples and you know change the the pitch and then you can go ahead and click this one right here it's similar to the flex tool and in how it works so for example this will keep the the, the length of the sample whenever you're playing through it. This one's really useful, especially when uh, you don't want to like warp the sample too much whenever playing with it. We got a lot more functionality going here. Let's say classic mode allows you to loop it. So in this case, you can get some better sustained stuff going on. Uh...
Yeah, so that's that's pretty much just like a really, really quick overview of some of the things you can just do with your voice, for example. Um, I'm really inspired by sound design and I have a lot of fun with this plugin. So I figure you guys might have a lot of fun with this too. Just give it a shot and just toss any sound in there. You can even use this for like drums and rhythms with a slice mode. Um, what's great about the slice mode is you can even create your own. You can delete them by double clicking, clicking up into the area. You can even crop the sample so that it only zooms in to just that function, that, that little piece right there. There's so, so much you can do with this. So let me know what you guys use this for. If you already do this, um, I just want to see more people use this one. 